Dennis in Santa Clara, California. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. And I'm going to show you how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses when I cut non-prescription lenses with anti-glare for your Ray-Ban 2140 original Wayfarer color 901, the classic shiny black and the 50 eye size. Let me take everything out of the original packaging as Ray-Ban sends it to me. Your Italian leather Ray-Ban case. Your Ray-Ban cleaning cloth. A little junk mail talking about the icons, which this is one of the originals. It's in an aviator shooter, Wayfarer, there it is. Caravan, some of their classics. The Olympian, the Ballarama. So, of course you get a Ray-Ban cleaning cloth and junk mail. And they come with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping from Italy. And I will include that on there when I ship to you. But someone sent me a comment on uh, another video. How come I always have the lenses out in advance before I cut? And I will show you because it is somewhat time consuming. I'm going to take off the little sticker that comes in there. The lenses, the original glass lenses were never intended to come out from Ray-Ban. But it just requires some heat, so I'm going to use this, <coughs> excuse me, turn on essentially a hair dryer. And I'm going to blow heat onto the front of the lenses of the frame, making the plastic more pliable. This frame has a very deep bevel. And I need to soften it up in order to get the lenses out. Let's see if this is enough or I need to do more. I almost have to do it where these things get so hot. Let me do that. Out comes that lens, just so I don't burn my fingers. Out comes that lens. And I guess I could show you that in the future, but that's what's involved. Now the other thing, there's a little bit of adhesive still in the frame. So I'm going to get a little bit of a lens cleaner and run the tissue around the inside bevel of the frame to try and get off as much of that ad adhesive as possible. Now the corresponding adhesive will be on the edge of the lenses, so let me clean some of that off for you too. Because he requested to have the original lenses back, and I said, no problem. Be glad to give you the original heavy glass lenses. That's what glass sounds like. And in, in its place, I'm going to install lightweight, unbreakable polycarbonate lenses. Years from now, if you never want to wear these with uh, the lenses I'm cutting, go somewhere who uses some heat, another optical shop, have them heat up the frame to reinsert these original glass lenses those so i'm going to take your frame i'm going to take it and put it into the tracing element of my blocker but first i want to program this shape into the computer this is number 1213 let me do that because years from now when it's time to actually wear new prescriptions my wife is texting me hang on one second let me just make sure this isn't important yep i missed it i was too late okay um the I can program, because I'm programming the shape into the computer tonight, 10, 12 years from now, should you ever need new prescription lenses, I can, I can refer back to this number, the barcode. I'll pull your paperwork out of my files, scan that in there, and I can pull up this shape, all the dimensions. If you had given me pupillary distance, I would keep that in there. All right, she's texting back. Hang on, hang on. Look at the wall while I check my watch. Hang on one second. <laughs> my wife sent me a picture one of the her cats have been hunting and left her a present on the floor at home and she thought she had sent it to me earlier but she had sent it to her niece instead she was just letting me know what uh, one of her cats caught so the um so yeah so years from now should you ever need prescription lenses i can send them right to your home and you'll see how i install them the other most important thing because this frame has such a deep bevel, I know that I'm going to have to take it down a certain amount before it will fit in here. And that will be programmed. I'm going to write that down on there so that years from now, I can send you duplicate lenses. Or if you want polarized lenses, or if you want the transition lenses with the mirror coating, I can send you those and they will pop right in. 
but I'm gonna hit the green arrow to start. A little stylus is gonna go around, trace that very deep inside bevel of this frame before doing the same thing on the left here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy a genuine authentic Ray-Ban frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or in this case non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number so if you have vision insurance or flex dollars you will get reimbursed for this purchase whether they are prescription or not. So in just a moment the shape will pop up on the computer. And if these were prescription lenses, I would get them prepped in my Marco 101 lensometer. I would put three dots on your lenses to tell me that it's oriented in there just right. I'm going to move this on to the next screen. If these were prescription, I would enter your pupillary distance, the optical center. I measure just like the crosshairs of a scope. I measure horizontally and vertically so we get your exact prescription dead center in front of you. Not critical since these are non-prescription. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the lens out of the protective packet. Put it onto the platform. Now this is a block, or as I like to call it, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting. So I need to take a double-sided adhesive sticker and attach this to your lens, of which I've got two here. Let me pull that off, drop that in the trash can. The black side is the sticky side. Line this onto the first block. Do the same thing now for the second one. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. On the back is a little silver button that is a magnet that's going to do its job twice. The first time it's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the arm. Put that there. And again, if these were prescription, I'd have it oriented in there just perfectly. This, it really does not matter. I could sit there and rotate the lens. It doesn't matter where it goes in. I just like to make sure I have it in the center of the lens. Hit that button. The arm's going to come down and place the block onto the right lens. Let's do the same thing for the lens that ain't right. Just like me, we will for this purpose we'll call it the left lens. Psy <laughs> Psychiatrists have not come up with a term for me. The term we'll use tonight for this one is the left lens. The lens that ain't right. So again, let me shrink that down. See the circumference of the lens. Make sure the shape that I'm cutting is right in the middle. I don't want it off-centered like that or missing entirely. Hit that button, the arm comes down, places the block onto the left lens. Now this is the edger that's going to do all the work while I run my mouth. It weighs forty thousand dollars. It weighs two hundred pounds. I recommend everyone go out and buy their own cut. You can cut your own lenses at home. You won't need me anymore. So just for fun, I'm going to start at a quarter millimeter smaller than normal, 0.25. I don't know if you guys can see that. These are polycarbonate lenses. If I were cutting plastic, high-index plastic, or Trivex, I would select that. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it won't be seen. I'm not going to put a safety bevel onto the front convex surface of the lens because it won't protrude from the frame but I am going to put a, a safety bevel on the rear concave surface of the lens even though that too won't protrude but I'll show you why in just a moment hit the green arrow which is start the door closes the clamp shuts and the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses making sure the lens is large enough to fit into the frame you can see it's just tracing the right lens and then the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once is measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel. So you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which you won't have any in this frame. But because I do cut very strong prescriptions all day long for free, that is a little bit more critical with the higher powers. Now the light flickering in the background is water to catch the optical sawdust as it comes off the lenses. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry where plastic, high-index plastic, and Trivex lenses cut wet, meaning the water sprays onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle. Now water will spray onto the lens for the last 20 seconds just to wash away any optical debris you may happen to see beginning to form on the edge of the lenses. But your lenses are made out of polycarbonate. Polycarb is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They are virtually unbreakable. These are high impact ballistics grade lenses, the same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel and flying debris. Speaking of protection, these lenses also have 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We, always, we also know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin there in Santa Clara, California. Your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes. Unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that need to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun. Now, you got the other nice thing. You have the anti-glare coating. Well, 
You also, I upgrade everyone to aspheric lenses. Aspheric simply means not spherical. A spherical lens is round in every direction, giving you an ugly cosmetic fishbowl appearance. So not only they're thinner and lighter, but the front curvature is much flatter. Now, if this were a prescription, it would give you a wider field of view, but it's also designed to fit into today's flatter curvature frames. So, you did get the anti-glare coating. Anti-glare is three features in one. The first feature is it reduces glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain. But street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead fluorescent lights and such. The second feature, it goes by the initials ARC, which means anti-reflective coating. So when someone's looking at you, they're not looking at their reflection in your glasses. It makes for much better eye contact. The other nice thing, it reduces reflections by if you're taking a selfie, you won't see the camera in the lens. Or if someone takes a picture with a flash, you won't see the flash lit up in the lens. Now the third feature of the anti-glare coating, which is my favorite, it comes with the industry's hardest scratch protection. The machine that applies the anti-glare costs well over a million dollars. It takes over 24 hours to vaporize eight different coatings onto your lens. So because of the time and the expense, they put the industry's hardest scratch coating on there to protect your time and investment. So let's dry everything off. We're going to see if it fits first time around or if I need to take some more off. Use my thumbnail to get any optical sawdust off the lens. Now the reason why I put the safety bevel on the back surface of the lens, even though no portion of this lens will protrude from the frame, is because when I go to see if I will, if it will mount first time around, I tuck it in at the outside corner using my thumbs. I press down at the nose and it does go in, but I just want to make sure not to mar the finish of the frame when I use the edge of the lens presses against it. So that's why I smoothed that out. Let's flip that over to L and let's take it down one tenth of a millimeter more. We're gonna do 0.30 on this side. Put it in with the magnet up, hit the green start button. Just like before the door closes, the clamp shuts and then the lens is gonna be traced by the two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. And you can see as it's tracing the left side of the frame, and that old carpenter saying measure twice cut once it's measuring where to place the thickness now again that's a routine procedure and with yours you're not going to have any edge thickness whatsoever but again as i cut free prescription lenses all day long for higher powered lenses that is a little bit more critical and comes into play take the block off put the sticker on top now if these were prescription i would come down here let's do it anyway just not to skimp on my work put it in and i go to read the power come on I was on a real high power earlier. I'm getting zero, no prescription. Now, this is a great frame. This is the classic. This was invented in 1952. This is the 2140 original Wayfair. Don't believe me, that's it, the 2140 original Wayfair, color 901, the classic shiny black and the 50 eye size. Wayfair handmade in Italy now this also comes in a tortoise color it comes in a few more it comes in some combination colors I went ahead and have clear lenses without anti-glare you can see the difference once I clean this off the way the anti-glare shows the reflection of the overhead fluorescent lights and it's much greatly reduced with the anti-reflective coating on there this is the classic black. This is the color 902, the classic tortoise, which is very dark indoors. But when you go outside or when lights coming through, you can see the tortoise color on there. Now, another variation on this that came out with a couple years ago, which is very unique. You have the folding Wayfarer. And I always like to use the old 70s martial arts sound effects when I open these up. So again, same frame, it just folds up, has a little metal axis. What is that? What would you call that? Hinge in the middle, same thing on the temples, plastic version of it there. And of course the hinge that closes anyway. But there's that one, same frame in the tortoise, just like we have here. Let me open it up, compare them both together. So you have that and of course this is a discontinued color even though I still have a few because I'm a sucker for anything blue. It has a blue front and the matte black temples. 
for those of you who are watching this video in December of 2018 I still have a few of these left this is a collector's item I cannot get any more Ray-Ban has finished making these colors when I knew they would I bought about five of them so if you want a collector's items which is going to be more valuable over time hurry up and contact me and I'll make you some lenses for this frame prescription or not so you've got blue with the matte black temples you've got the classic tortoise and you have the shiny black I will always be able to get these two colors for you this one when they are gone they are gone so if you want a collector's item to wear with something blue hit me up real quick before they're all gone and of course these come with a really cool case the the black one in most cases without rhyme or reason this happens to come with a black case but again this is in a cute little box that it comes in the only thing i wish they would do differently is like the old school beepers the doctors used to wear on their belts before cell phones were out i wish they had a little belt loop on the back so you could attach it to your belt and of course it comes in these boxes it has the ray-ban cleaning cloth on the inside and this is color 601 which is the shiny black the tortoise is color 710 and of course I got the the box in the back I should have brought it out for the blue which I believe is 6020 yes it is six color code 6020 and again Ray-Ban made in Italy so get them while supplies last I will always be able to get you these and look at me being rough here and in fact let me show you something unique if I take the lens out of which one this one Let's see how well it fits into this is a folding wayfarer this is your wayfarer slightly different size so i'm not going to force it so that means that let's do this then let me take your lens out because the original wayfarer lens is ever so slightly smaller than the folding wayfarer so i can take your lens put it into this frame and it will pop in so let me take this one out mount it into yours put this down there and the other thing I mentioned to Dennis was that somehow there was a a defect uh, bug in the in the software of, of my uh, website when he bought these with anti-glare he was charged $25 more than he should have been and I do thank you for your purchase buying something way exuberant so I emailed him and just to clarify what he was getting and he said these were non-prescription and I went back and checked for some reason he was overcharged so I told him I'd be refunding he originally paid $224.99 I told him I would have to refund $25 back to his original price and he was so, so shocked by the honesty that he said go ahead and keep it he just couldn't imagine someone from a website contacting him and said you accidentally overpaid is it okay if i refund some of your money and he was so shocked by that that he said go ahead and keep them but i couldn't do that i'm going to refund the money back to your account as soon as i print out a shipping label so i just want to clean off your lenses quick rub on the frame now I send out a selfie request with every purchase Dennis please I would love to have your picture on the website he wanted to know how fast I could ship them I said within 24 hours because he was going on a trip and just wanted to make sure for the holidays right before Christmas or just after wanted to make sure he would get these and I said of course you will I will do my best so I also send out cleaning instructions not only how to care for the premium microfiber well not only care for your frame and lenses so they will last you for years but for the premium microfiber cleaning cloth that I'll provide your Ray-Ban cleaning cloth so and your case so all three of those will last you for years no other seller on the internet does that I am told so when you get these in the mail and you see the wrinkle you know that it works I field test every cleaning cloth before I ship because you don't want me to take mine out of my pocket do you okay so the other thing when you get these in the mail there's a small chance that these could be too loose or too tight however there's an 80 percent chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other that's because 80 percent of people have one ear that is higher than the other and because of that statistic 99 percent of all optical shops will do free adjustments but i'm going to get these in standard alignment first also known as a three-point stance the so three points are one two in the bottom of the frame being three i set them on the counter and press down there is no wobble 
when I say wobble, I'm part of that 80%. When I take my Ray-Bans off and press down, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. And here's another good teaching moment. You have the Ray-Ban 2140 Original Wayfarer, originally designed in 1952. I'm wearing the Ray-Ban 2132 New Wayfarer, designed in 1992. This one has known with panoscopic tilt, mine or more at a 90 degree angle. This one tilts in towards the cheek, away from the eyebrows. Mine is more vertical. Pretty much same shark fin temple on the side. I call it the shark fin because of if it were upside down, have that little fin coming up like a shark fin. But that is the difference. The 50 eye size with a 22 bridge, the distance there, 52 with an 18 bridge. Now this comes in two sizes, the 50 and the 54. This one comes in three sizes now, 52 that I'm wearing, 55 and, and the 58 eye size. The folding wayfarers come in the 50 and the 54 also. But let me flip this over, press down, there is no wobble, close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly and that neither temple is askew like that. Of course, I just got my fingerprints all over them again. And so he had asked, Dennis asked for the original lenses back. I said, that's fine to make sure you get the original ones. I'm going to tell you what, how about that? I'm using my cleaning cloth after all. I am going to take your Ray-Ban G15 sticker that comes on all of these. And to know you're getting the real thing, I am going to put the sticker upside down. You can watch me do it so when you take these out of the package, you'll see you're getting the original ones that have my fingerprints on them. I really need to clean that also. You can't turn me into the FBI and collect that big reward. So I send pictures before I track. He's going to get these pictures and be like, why is that sticker upside down? Then he'll watch the video because it takes about 45 minutes to an hour for the video to upload and say, oh, I understand now why the sticker is upside down. So that's it. Dennis in Santa Clara, California. Again, I appreciate you sticking with me. I'm glad to refund $25 of your purchase that was overcharged. If anyone has any questions, you can email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com just and click the, in case the contact me button is not working on the website, which it does for some people with the browsers they use, and I don't know why. Or better yet, you can email, um, leave a question or comment in the comment section below, and I will answer that for you. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as freeprescriptionlenses.com or on Twitter as freerxlenses. So again, Dennis in Santa Clara, California, thank you for the purchase of the Ray-Ban 2140 color 901 classic shiny black in the 50 eye size. And now everyone else has got the chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.